In this video, we'll be covering the differences between monocots, like this palm on the right, and dicots, like these other trees on the left, and how that affects their management. If you've ever heard someone insist that a palm is not a tree, by the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of why. There are several major differences between monocots and dicots. The first is where they get their name. Monocot is short for monocotyledon, which means one cotyledon. A cotyledon is a seed leaf, or the first leaf that comes out of the seed. It usually has a different look to the true leaves that emerge later. In a monocot, like this palm seedling, you only have one leaf. In a dicot, you have two. And dicot is short for dicotyledon. The primary veins of monocots also tend to be parallel, like in this blade of grass, whereas in dicots, they're more complex and often branch. Next, this may be the most important distinction between the two groups. The vascular bundles are arranged differently. This is the xylem and the phloem. It's what moves water, sugars, stuff like that throughout the plant. And in the monocot, they're arranged in bundles that are scattered throughout the stems. And in dicots, they're arranged in a ring. Lastly, the flower parts of monocots are found in sets of threes, whereas on dicots, they're in fours and fives. Let's go into more detail about the vascular systems. In dicots, the vascular bundles are arranged in a ring at the perimeter of the stem. On trees, just inside the bark, there's what's called a vascular cambium. Um, monocots do not have this. The vascular cambium is a thin layer of cells that produces xylem to the inside of the stem and phloem to the outside. This xylem is synonymous with wood. So every year as you add more and more xylem, you get an increase in thickness and an increase in wood. The phloem tends to just get crushed under their bark, so it doesn't build up in the same way. So if you were to damage this trunk here, the cambium will most likely die, but the cambium around it, cells that are alive, they will continue to grow and they will form wound wood over that damaged area. Given enough time, that tree is going to add enough wood to fully close over the wound, but the damage is always there it doesn't actually heal and you may have decay into the center of the tree. Since trees have this vascular cambium, they can add more wood every year and increase the trunk diameter. That increase in thickness is called secondary growth compared to primary growth, which is stem elongation. So these palms here, they're only capable of growing taller. They will never get thicker. You may have seen instances where the trunk diameter of a palm changes. Most likely that's because there's changes in the growing conditions year to year. So the trunks will narrow when the conditions aren't as good and they'll enlarge again to a maximum diameter when the conditions are right. That maximum diameter is predetermined very early on in the life of a palm and it will never exceed that diameter. Um, since these palms don't increase in diameter, if you're looking to purchase a palm or you're assessing the value of one, what you look at is the height of the brown trunk. Since the vascular bundles of a palm are scattered throughout the trunk and do not add growth every year, damage to the exterior of a palm trunk is permanent. If decay organisms get into the wound and start breaking down the trunk, eventually that palm will have to be removed. This is a big reason why you don't want to climb palms with spikes unless you're removing them, because any spike damage is permanent. Since palms only have primary growth, their roots also don't increase in thickness. They have what's called a root initiation zone at the base of the trunk, which can extend quite a ways up the trunk. They gain their stability from the sheer number of roots, which continue to grow throughout their lifespan, rather than from several large structural roots. 
because of this, it's possible to transplant fairly large mature specimens of palms with relatively small root balls compared to what you need for trees.